It was built in 1656. Yeah. Or a Darta or a Every second is important. We have to take action as soon as possible, guys. Let me show you how this looks from inside. Or maybe there's a, a full skeleton of an animal or something. Fortunately, lately it was filled up with soil. A film being uh, produced there in Malta. As a great two national monument. Welcome you again to another interesting vlog. Today we're gonna visit a place which has been abandoned for long years now, unfortunately. We're in Zabar, um, Senanard area. We're going to take you to this old abandoned building. It's called um, El Convent or uh, Darta Baronessa or Darta Soro. This building has been abandoned for long years now. Let's see closer how it looks like. Come on. First intentions of this building, guys, was was intended to be used as a convent, but it has never been used for such a purpose. Building. It was built in 1656 by uh, some uh, Leonard Samut, and in honor of Saint Leonard, of course. Hence, the name of this area. As you can see, a lot of fields around me, and of course, this building. This was a chapel, primarily, and also. Uh, sort of a farmhouse built adjacent to it, but as you can see, its, it's state is not that nice anymore. There's this fence overlooking this one. As you can see, some walls, some walls from there has already fallen off, and uh, big blocks are put here to support the building for now. Look there, and look up there, it's deteriorating. This should be restored as soon as possible. I asked the government to take action as soon as possible. Let's go here, guys. There. And look at the stones here. The wall is falling off. Every second is important. We have to take action as soon as possible, guys. Let's let me show you how this looks from inside or What's left of it, guys? From inside, as you can see, here it's totally demolished. No roofs falling off. Kilap and Chirik, not here anymore. Walls falling off. What a shame. Field is well cultivated. Eh? We're not doing any any damage. We're passing from the sides. Ah, okay. Wait, wait. I can remove this now because I'm alone here. No, the arches are very nice. Um, they are not exactly semicircular, as you can see. They are a bit pointed, like the, the Norman ones, the Norman ages. These maybe, maybe these were um, holes where, where animals could should have been feeding, or I don't know, or horses or something. We we found something similar in uh, Darta Shitan, in Maliha. Another room, part of the roof has fallen, as you can see there, a rotten wooden beam. Mm. 
that's the window we saw from outside maybe that was the entrance guys of this chapel and maybe an altar there and perhaps a, a picture of Saint Leonard or I don't know or of Jesus Christ or our Lady Mary most probably since it was dedicated to Saint Leonard there should have been a picture of Saint Leonard or a painting or something the floor here is full of pigeon shit guys they find their shelter here they find their shelter here a mountain of it so they stay up there and shelter from the bad weather which weather hit the building severely here of course as you can see part of the arches there here look so this should be part of the arch look some bones here maybe some animal bones I ask those who are into bones and skeletons what do you think about this guys is it does it belong to a to a horse or something or what what's this jaw like and those teeth I don't know there are more bones here and there and there maybe there's a a full skeleton of an animal or something at least here if nothing guys we can appreciate the thickness of the walls and how they were constructed you see that's the outer outer layer of the wall this is the in inner layer of the chapel and that's the rubble in between thickness is about one meter I think it's about one meter thick today walls are six inches nine inches I don't know if my information is correct guys in the uh, late 1900s this uh, this building came known also be became known also as the Darta Soru this due to the fact that there was being um, a film being uh, produced there in Malta and this location here this building was being used as the, the setup and everything wow there seems to be a flight of stairs here but but it's ruined now Garigor it's called in Maltese dead pigeons look it used to go up and there's a nasty smell here like shit look here wow this is another part and there, there are some paintings over there like fake fake windows you see there, there's something interesting there guys maybe there was an oven or something ah shook Maybe there was an oven here, I guess, I don't know. And the chimney goes up, goes up from there, you see? Pigeon, pigeon! The floor here is full of shit, guys. Wow, oh. yeah. this is not that safe, I have to go under. there how nice maybe the stairs went up there all the way but we cannot go we cannot go up there of course is there another way maybe I don't know maybe that was the only way to go up but we cannot go guys Hmm. What a shame. It keeps going on. Let me show you from, from the hole there. It keeps going on and on and on. In the middle of this yard, guys. I found this hole here I don't know maybe it's a well or something I don't know exactly I think it's a well but now full of uh, full of stones 
as you can see so it's blocked but it seems like it was a, a well they always thought of saving water I don't know if there is another one anywhere else but that's for sure and possibly I don't know if this is correct or no guys from this structure here it looks like there was something circular going out here maybe a balcony or something overlooking the garden maybe there was another piece the end of it here there's something there as well maybe there was a big balcony overlooking the gardens here it is also believed that that, uh, that this building here had a big garden around but unfortunately lately it was filled up with soil by a nearby farmer to, to cultivate uh, crops at the moment it's full of potatoes well irrigated of course behind me you can see two two entrances sort of or two exits possibly they were either the end of the garden or there was um, even more fields and maybe vegetation down there maybe it was the end of the garden or or, else, or at least as you can see there are passages or doors um, I indoors which are now blocked and rotten that one is missing over there as you can see I don't know that that wall was, was the end of the of the property maybe let's have a look beyond that a pigeon and a cock there they were having a small discussion look here guys this is the gate all rotten as you can see down here that uh, was a gate you see another cog there as you all know guys I'm doing this small initiative from my side from CNT Adventures I'm visiting these places and trying to lead by example I'm carrying along a plastic bag and a pair of disposable gloves which I am wearing and trying to pick up at least three things or more um, within the initiative called hashtag Klita Klita Naslu. I suggest you all to copy this initiative and pick up any rubbish, plastic or something where you go when you go visiting these places and put them where they belong. On my way back home I'm finding a bring inside or or something where I put these things I pick up and put them there for the authorities to, to pick up then. So copy my initiative, hashtag Klitatlitanaslu. As a final note guys from this uh, from this location I want to inform you that MEPA scheduled this convent as a grade 2 national monument so maybe they will be either restoring it or I don't know exactly That's all for today guys from here from El Convent or El Dartasoru or whatever you like Our contribution towards the environment is done as well Hope you are subscribing and enjoying our our vlogs the number of subscribers have been increasing and increasing along along the way uh, we dedicate a lot of uh, effort and a lot of time to produce these vlogs but above all and above everything i'm enjoying it hope that the authorities uh, move the pace towards restoring this building maybe possibly thanks for following until next time the house limb.